What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. Welcome to Football Game Plans Talking with TD. I'm your host, Teron Davenport. Now we have defensive lineman slash outside linebacker Marcus Golden out of Missouri. This is a guy that when you turn on the film, high motor, high energy, very violent pass rusher. Marcus, how you doing, man? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. Hey, man, just been working on the ground and getting ready for this pro day coming up. Yes, sir. When is your pro day? Uh, it'll be uh, March 19th. Okay, March 19th. So just looking at what you were able to do at Missouri, you know, you and Shane Ray, you guys were the, you know, the first duo at, at the zoo to have over 10 sacks each, you know. Uh, talk a little bit about the competition, you know, what what you you and Marcus, Marcus, you and uh, Shane Ray, talk about how you guys compete. Oh, man, you just compete at a high level. You get your cousins, you guys that we did a while ago, so. That's really what it's about, man. We just, we just always competing. We got a great coach, Coach Cool, and uh, that's what he always expresses because you have to compete. You have to compete. So when you play for Coach Cool, you got to compete out there. Now, at the Combine, a lot of guys were asking you questions about Missouri, and you, you were referring it to it as uh, the D-line, D-line Zoo, and there's a history there. You know, Justin Smith, Coney Ely, Sheldon Richardson, Alden Smith, of course. What's it like to be able to carry on that legacy? Oh man, that's big. That's real big, especially being here doing the uh, doing the era for uh, Michael Sam and me and Shane balling out together and uh, Sheldon Richardson. So I've seen a lot of players come through here and make big plays and uh, end up going to the NFL and being able to represent the D line from Missouri. So it's a big deal. Everybody here want to do it. Even these young guys here now and they're competing right now just to get on the field in Missouri. Them guys, everybody just take pride in playing for the University of Missouri defensive line. So my job is to just keep it going and be able to come back and tell them, give them guys advice how to get there. Now, looking at your measurables, you, you came at 6'2", 260. You had mentioned you gained five pounds of good weight. Was that just through changing diet or different weight training, or, or how did you put on that extra weight? Really just getting in there and finding. Of course, I got to eat it. You can't just pick it up, put five pounds of fat on it and be healthy. So I've been eating good and uh, just grinding in the weight room, just going hard no matter what. And, uh, I got a lot of help from uh, working out over by the Pete Bob Marinos. I got a good uh, help with their food out there, and they got a this is good all around system. So they help me out with that. Now I'm back in my school, and that's gonna get even better. Another thing that that you talked about was this quote unquote knock about having short arms. Can you talk a little bit about how you're able to win and keep your chest plate clean despite uh, that being a, a, a supposed detriment to to your uh, to your ability? Yeah, I can, uh, about short arms, man, I just look at it as, for my family, I just play so hard, man, and I'm going to get my, my hands on you before you get them on me. Of course, some plays, some guys can get you, but it's like, it's it's overrated, man, because I'm not going to make all the plays I made in my career, and, uh, without, with, if my arms was long, I would feel like I would have did the same. So I really say, I'm not going to make as much many, as much, as many plays as I do. I got. So that's what I say. I feel like it's more of a way. If you're going to make plays, you're going to make them. If not, if you're going to struggle, you're going to be able to make a play if you can't do it. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I mean, I think football is football. And I mean, some guys have long arms, some guys have short arms. But one thing that you do have is 10 and a half inch hands. And, and I saw your hands at the combine. Man. You got some big mitts on you. And you really use those to, to <laughs> yeah, man, seriously, man. You really use those in your pass rush. Uh, watching the UCF game, you know, I, I watched how, you know, you, you shocked number 79 at the, the uh, right tackle there. You were shocking him with your hands. A couple times I saw you literally moving back three yards with your initial hit. What what's what is it that's so important yeah. about getting your hands on them first? How does that help you as as an edge rusher? Uh, really, uh, it helps. You know, you're using quickness and power. So if you can get your hand on this man to keep trying to stick his right arm out and block it, if you can get that arm down before you can get it up, and that's easier to get the quarterback. So that's what it's about. It's having strong hands, but at the same time, you have to be quick to make sure you're able to get that offensive tackle uh, hands off of you. 
Now, before you got to the zoo, you you had a little bit of a history as a running back, 30 touchdowns in high school. Can you talk about uh, what yeah. made you shift from, from running back to d- defensive lineman or outside linebacker? Yeah, I, uh, I played running back my whole life. I always loved to run the ball, score a touchdown. But as I got to um, coming to college, my high school coach was telling me he think I should play uh, – I should st- uh, focus on playing defense. And I was like, uh, okay. He told me that my junior year. And my senior year, I came back out and got even better. than he was like, hey, maybe you can play running back. But I was already put my head forward on playing um, defense. So I just stayed on the defensive side of the ball. But, yeah, my high school coach, he pushed me to be great, be a good player. He coached me up, taught me a bunch of different positions. And uh, I decided to listen to him when I got to college and just play defense. Well, it looks like he gave you the right advice because you're about to be a, a, a very good edge rusher in the NFL, and not just an edge rusher. You're also you're a guy, like I said, because of your size and your violent hands, it seems like you'll be able to be physically able to set the edge as on the outside, you know, if you're in a 3-4 scheme. Can you talk about your versatility to work in a 3-4 scheme or put your hand in the dirt and be a 4-3 defensive end? Yes, uh, of course. I think I played uh, linebacker my whole life. I played linebacker through Little League, linebacker for high school, and I even played in the junior college. So uh, I, 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 I was used to standing up my whole life. Then two, two years ago, my junior year in Missouri was my first time playing deep at the end. So that's what I said about it. I'm used to it, and I can stand up. I can drop back to coverage in the flats. I can cover a tight end, or I can um, – I can get in the regular four three like I did here in Missouri, slant across the line, uh, get back there, get out the quarterback from the three point stance, from the five tech, from the six technique. And really, that's just what I do. I can play them both. And uh, like I said, I love to go back and play linebacker, but I love to just have the opportunity to play a uh, four three two. Nice. Now, junior college at Hutchinson, twenty six tackles for a loss, ten sacks, five forced fumbles. Two INTs also, so you're clearly a guy that could drop back in, in coverage if need be. But the thing that 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 26 tackles for loss that tells me that you're a penetrator. You get into the backfield, and then watching your tape at Missouri, I noticed that you're able to get a, a really good jump on the ball. Can you just talk about just your your pass rushing ability as a whole? What is it that makes you such a a, a solid pass rusher? Uh, really, yeah, a little pass rush and get after the quarterback. So that's what you gotta have at first, just the want and the determination to get after the quarterback and make plays. And after that, uh, I just use what I was taught at Missouri and just using my hands and uh, using the, the using the rip move, bringing that rip all the way up. And after that, then uh, I coach cool taught me a lot for us, my bull rush and of course my counter move. So I gotta give a lot of credit to coach cool because, like I said, my first year playing defense here was uh, my junior year. I basically created me into a defense end and helped me out a lot. So I just did all the stuff he taught me. And then after that, me just being relentless, getting out there and wanting, wanting to make every play, wanting to, no matter if the quarterback is all on the other side of the field scrambling, still trying to get out. So this was about just having determination and just being relentless. Yeah, I like how you bring up that going after the quarterback on the other side of the field. There was a game, I think it was, uh, yeah, it was Toledo. It was against Toledo. You guys were blowing them out. But the running back, he, he broke free. I think it was a dive, and uh, he was able to get through the line, and he ran downfield. And, uh, you know, I see this big number 33 running after him and tracking him down. So that's an example of the relentlessness that, that you bring. Looking at, at some of the other film, you, you know, there's an energy that you bring. And even during the combine interview, like, you have an edge, and I like that. What is it that, that drives you? What what gives you that, that competitive edge? You know, because there were some questions that guys were asking, and I could tell that, that it bothered you, but you answered the question and you had that edge, man. And it, to me, that's what you need to have as a, a premier defensive um, player. So what gives you the edge? What what gives you the, the desire to compete? Really just been competing my whole life. So I'm competitive, been doing it all my whole life. My brother, and my mother, my dad. So I come from a pretty competitive family. And uh, after that, I just love playing the game of football. And then my last name, Gold, I just play for, you know, ain't nothing like playing for your family and playing for their name on the back of your shirt. Just, you know, playing just for the pride of your last name. And of course, you want to do it for the team and play for the team, but at the same time, you can never forget where you came from. That's what I need. I'm going to play hard for the, where I come from and for my family to stay home and just to keep making my family proud. And after that, I just love the game. I want to go out there and do whatever I got to do for my, for my team to win. 
What would you say are the three best games you have on film? Uh, I'd probably say uh, Texas A&M, Tennessee, and uh, Minnesota. And and why? What, what particular thing stood out to you? Uh, they just uh, it just shows just shows what I really can do at one hundred percent healthy. Not hurting, not, nothing hurting on me. So it just really in the game where I was one hundred percent healthy and I was able to play like I like I always play. I'm sure you had a bunch of interviews. I'm not going to ask you what teams, but what what was some of the feedback that you were getting from the personnel guys at, at the combine? Or what were they saying they they liked, disliked, and so on and so forth? I got some good uh, feedback. They just like the way I play the game. Most of all, I get up there and get after it. Uh, they love my motor and just how I play play the game of football. Uh, after that, they get to the good stuff and things I can work on, and then uh, I can play three, four, four, three lines. After they look at me at both, and that's about it. Okay, cool. As far as the pro day that's coming up, March nineteenth, are you going to do all of the workouts? Are you going to run the forty again and, and everything? Yes, I'm gonna do most of them. Okay, cool. Anything in particular you you want to show them that is is different or has improved from the combine? Probably just my uh, my drills, my uh, my defense, I mean, linebacker drills and defensive drills, stuff like that. But mostly just doing the linebacker drills so I can get coverage to flip my hips and uh, so I can be a linebacker too. Okay, cool. Well, Marcus, I appreciate you coming on. Like I said, man, I love watching your film. You know, the the energy you bring, the high motor, like you mentioned. You're a very solid pass rusher. I think you're going to do well in the league. And, uh, you know, I appreciate you coming on. Keep grinding, man. I wish you the best at your pro day. All right, man. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate you a lot for having me on. That wraps up this edition of Talking with TD. Be sure to check out all of my interview segments at footballgameplan.com slash talking with td if you have any questions or people you want me to sit down with hit me up on twitter at t davenport underscore nfl